Okay, so, whoa, focusing, yay. Uh, it is Monday, not Saturday. Well, I was, was going to say Saturday because usually anything Ultimate Universe related is on Saturday. But I guess since this isn't completely Ultimate Universe, I, I decided to do it today. And, you know, thinking about it, it would be like by the end of the year, if I'm lucky that I would do a review on Spider-Man if I was doing this for an Ultimate Saturday review. But I'm not. So, Spider-Man. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis, Sarah, cannot pronounce her last name, so I'm not even going to try, but I believe they're the people who are currently doing the Miles, the Miles Morales run of Ultimate Spider-Man, which, Ultimate Universe right now, crazy. I'm not going to get into that, but crazy. If you're not reading Cataclysm, you should be, because it's really, really good, and there's only five issues, and their issue four comes out this week, actually. But anyways, uh, as you can see, an instant classic, it is pretty darn good. Um... I got this when it came out, I believe it was two years ago. Not the hardcover, but the issues. I got it when they came out. And it was awesome, though. The covers, like a lot of comic book covers, are misleading. Anyways, uh, this is the hardcover version. I got this because it was like 10 bucks on sale at my store. Look at that picture. That's an awesome picture. Just says Spider-Man right there. Nice writing. Again, Marvel, Spider-Man, Bendis. I cannot pronounce the last name still. Uh... No picture, but hopefully I will be doing a review on something that's going to be awesome, and you will see what I mean. Uh, the back looks pretty awesome. Goblin's face is a little weird for me, but otherwise, pretty darn awesome. Universes collide for the first time in one ultimate amazing Spider-Man story. So yeah, that is one pretty, you know, interesting, interesting fact, cool thing, the reason I got this, anyways, when it came out was that it was the first time that they were doing a crossover between the mainstream universe and the ultimate universe. And I don't know the name of the Earth there, but I know it's 616, and I don't I don't know the ultimate universe, like, Earth number, but it is the first crossover. And the cool thing about it is that if you're reading Cataclysm, a few things that happen in here actually are finally mentioned there, which I thought was, you know... Yeah, it, it's cool, you know, make sh it makes sure that this thing is canon, this thing actually did happen. So that makes me happy. Anyways, let's get on with this. I believe it is five issues. Yes, one through five. And it starts off uh, pretty, eh, I want to say normal. Uh, here you get like a small description between Spider-Man and Ultimate Spider-Man. There's the cover variant for issue number one. And... Uh, little credits right here that right there should be a poster I actually have a poster for spider-man but at the moment it says no more Avengers and I actually don't even know where that poster is I probably put other poster in front of it uh, regular cover second printing cover which I kind of like better with the masks but that's not what you were here for you're here for the story so it starts off normal Peter Parker swinging around the streets saving people uh, cops not liking him so this I don't know when this takes place, because, you know, for a while there, the cops didn't have that much of a problem with him. At least near the end of Peter, of this Peter Parker's thing. Which I'm still excited, Amazing Spider-Man coming soon. Runs into Mysterio. Mysterio's kind of, you know, rambling about crazy stuff. And, you know, he falls through this portal, and everything's different. But slightly the same. And if you're wondering why everything is kind of off, it's because of Ultimatum. You know, the ultimate wave, everything. I'm not going to spoil it there, but it did change a lot of stuff in that universe, including New York. Uh, he, you know, Peter doesn't know what's going on. He wants to know, like, is this an illusion or, what, like, what's going on? Because, you know, it's Mysterio. He could be creating an illusion. And while he's doing all this swinging around, well, Mysterio does kind of, like, send an avatar after him. But Peter and Miles run into each other. Uh, cover for number two. I'm like trying to think how far do I want to get into this? Uh, let's just get into this. There is a small fight between both of them. Nothing, you know, hardcore, you know, like epic. Pretty darn cool. He does get to make Nick Fury, and the only reason I mention that is because I'm like accidentally opening to that page. But it's a pretty cool fight. Anyway, story wise, um, because I don't want to spoil too much because this is definitely. In my opinion, they must read it. It's definitely not in my top 5 or top 10, but it's definitely probably be in my top 20, you know, comic books of all time, because 
it is it is really really good i really enjoy it um enjoyed it let me see if there's any bonus things in the back really quick without you uh without spoiling the ending because i didn't want to do that anyways uh everybody so small spoiler alert if you haven't finished reading the ultimate spider-man run i'm gonna say it right now so if you don't want to hear it then stop watching the video because i will be spoiling the peter parker run of ultimate spider-man right now so get it get this anyway but if you haven't read it it will spoil parts of it assuming you don't know what happens which i would hope you do because yeah anyways so we all know peter parker is dead in the ultimate universe um what i don't know if everybody knows this or not but the ultimate universe knows who P uh, spider-man was they know it was peter parker so when they see this peter parker going around in this suit they kind of think uh, that's kind of like in poor taste because he's going around as the dead superheroes you know, in the dead superheroes costume talks to some lady finds out information that you know he's dead and kind of wants to go visit aunt may to see what's going on and you know it was it was pretty good i really did like it i feel like there should have been more interaction with a few other characters i wish his you know visit with them would have lasted longer i kind of wish this thing lasted maybe one more issue uh here are the extra you know the variants and stuff i just want to show one of them i don't know if it's here but it's very misleading um i do not like how gwen stacy looks now though i like her when she was first introduced in the ultimate universe that is an awesome one right there. That should be a poster. I take it back. That should be the poster. Uh, one of the regular covers, though, is just totally misleading. I don't know if it was the last issue or something. But anyways, Mysterio stuff happens. Cool things. It is just a really good book. Like I'm trying to think what else I can say about this without spoiling too much of the story. Because I've kind of already went through most of it. Considering it's only five issues long... Uh, retails for I want to say twenty four bucks. I don't yeah twenty four ninety nine twenty five bucks. I don't know how much it is in paperback. If there is a paperback, it probably is. But it's a good story. I like to see more crossovers happening. I'm hoping there's more crossovers happening between the two universes later this year, maybe next year. I don't know. But Aunt May and all of them, you know, talking to this Peter was definitely interesting. I wish all of that lasted longer. That's pretty much my only complaint is that I kind of wish it lasted a little bit longer. Maybe one or two issues, not, you know, to go out to 10 or nothing. But it had more potential than, um, than it showed. It could have been a little bit better. I'm not going to lie there. But it was still really good for what it was. It was good. And do I recommend it? If you're a Spider-Man fan, yes. If you're a Miles Morales Spider-Man fan, yes. If you stop reading Ultimate Spider-Man after the death of Peter Parker and don't care about Miles Morales, I still kind of suggest you read this because it's it it it, it goes over stuff and uh, you know it, it's really it's good. It's definitely good. And like I said, if you're reading Cataclysm right now. Again, this is something that uh, you might want to check out just because it kind of, it very vaguely ties into it just with a character with Mysterio. Um, and, and that's pretty much my review on this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely, like I said, one of my favorite things and I'm glad I got it for so cheap. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's that. And uh you know, like the video, comment if you have any comments, questions, or anything. I'll try and answer, subscribe, because that would be awesome. And on that note, I will see you tomorrow. There's a unboxing video. It's not a great unboxing video by any means. It kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Did a horrible job on this video and the one that's coming out next week. But Wednesday or Thursday, comic book pick up because I don't do them on Wednesdays because reading time. But yeah, aside from all that... Like I said, hope you enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And I will see you next time.